always been a bit of a fan of the Subaru Forester, mainly because it's just so boxy, as in square and kind of uncool, but therein lies its appeal. It's, uh, it has terrific visibility, lots of room, it's comfortable, and of course, we have the Subaru all-wheel drive. Now, for 2022, the Forester gets a mid-cycle refresh, and part of that is this new Wilderness Edition, which, like its big brother, the Wilderness Outback, is jacked up, has all-terrain tires, and a bit more off-road capability. So today, we're going to throw this wilderness at some real wilderness and uh, see how it fares. The 2022 Forester Wilderness has an all-in base price of $38,995, and that's about $8,000 over the base model and four grand below the top-tier premium. As with all Foresters, the Wilderness runs with a 182 horsepower, 176 pound-foot, 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder hooked to a continuously variable transmission. No, you won't be winning any drag races, and there's some of that moaning when your mud cake willy hits the rubber floor mat, but overall this is an agreeable and reasonably fuel-efficient drivetrain. So what makes this Forester a wilderness? Well, its stability control and suspension are tuned for more off-road use. Its ride height is raised by 15 millimeters over the regular Forester, although with its engine and rear differential skid plates, overall ground clearance increases by 9 millimeters to 299 millimeters. It's riding on Yokohama Geolander 17-inch all-terrain tires, and the corners of the lower front fascia are tucked in to provide a better approach angle. And should you slice a tire on your Outback Adventure, there's a full-size spare in the underfloor wheel well. For 2022, the dual function X mode, which is selectable by a rotary dial after the shifter, gets a handy standby mode. Previously, when exceeding 40 kilometers, the X mode would shut off and then had to be re-enabled manually. Now, X mode automatically re-engages when speeds drop below 35 kilometers an hour. There's a new front view camera with a near 180 degree view. The Wilderness also gets LED steering responsive headlights. Of course, visuals are a big part of this package. It has the Ford Bronco, Sport, Jeep, Cherokee, Trailhawk, and Toyota RAV4 TRD in sights and the wilderness ups the visuals with extra body cladding, anodized copper look accents, a flat black hood decal and white lettering on the tires. Inside we see more copper trim, water resistant upholstery, aluminum pedals and rubber floor mats emblazoned with big Subaru wilderness logos. And this wilderness can tow up to 3,000 pounds which is double of its stable mates. And if rooftop camping is your thing, the wilderness roof can support a static weight of 363 kilograms which translates to a three-person tent. All foresters get a new pair of hooks in the hatch ceiling that are perfect for hanging dripping wetsuits, drying your repelling ropes, or for normal people like us, hanging our dry cleaning. Well, this uh, little Forester Wilderness for 2022 is quite a scrappy little thing, my gosh. When I put it into dual X mode, it just gets all kind of it loves the potholes, it loves the mud, it kind of grinds through everything. And the beauty thing about the Forester in any iteration is the uh, fantastic visibility. It's got a really tall greenhouse, big glass, you can see it, all the corners of the vehicle. Kudos to Subaru, they actually have some really good sensible ergonomics. We have a volume control, we have a tuner knob, we have three rotary controllers for heat for the HVAC, which is really something. I mean, you know, we're not poking away at uh, screens for everything. And I certainly hope the sanity continues and they don't go towards doing the whole complete digital glass thing, which is, uh, it's hard, to, and especially if, you know, say if you're doing like I am, going down this crazy, muddy, snowy, goopy back road and I wanna turn down the heat, well, look at that. I just did that. I wanna turn on my heat seater, bingo, wow. Analog controls, what a concept. I would say the Forester Wilderness lives up to its name. It's such a nice size and it has really good steering feel. You just sort of feel connected to this vehicle. There's no mysteries. It's just chuckable and scrappy and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. If you're looking for a, a Forester with a little more off-road capability, this Wilderness is, it's really well done. A little farther along the road, I hit the skid plate, which is uh, very happy it was there because there was a deep pothole that I didn't see under all this water. And we bottomed out and just kind of kept on going. My only really complaint about this car is the, is the audio system, which seems to be a sore point for Subaru. But, you know, what are you going to do? 
So I guess the big question here is, does the Wilderness's mud plugging mojo hurt its on-road performance? And I would say maybe just a little bit. It's not quite as planted as a regular Forester. These tires make a little bit more noise and with its shorter final drive ratio, fuel economy suffers just a little bit. But overall, I mean, it's, it's, it's a minor point. And this thing is just as enjoyable on the road as it is off the road. As Huey Lewis said, it's hip to be square. So, you know, it's probably even hipper with knobby tires and plastic cladding. For driving.ca, I'm Peter Blakeney. For more reviews, follow us on social media.